just to just to um, just to explain indirect proofs again. Um, all the other proofs that we've done, the direct proofs, it's just going straight from the proof statement to the um, or the, the given to the proof statement, right? So you're just directly proving, okay, from um, from the first step to the last step. It's just you're you're straight, you're proving it. Um, indirect proof, you're going to actually state that the given statement is um, the opposite. So you're actually proving that the opposite of the original statement is false, and therefore proving that it's true. Okay. So instead of proving that the original statement is true, you're going to prove that the opposite of the original is false. Okay. So it's an indirect way of making um, or writing these proofs. So then here, this problem, we're actually going to write an indirect proof. Um, so let's take a look at this. Given is that lines P and Q are not parallel. Okay, they are not parallel. And then we're going to prove that measure of angle 1 is not equal to measure of angle 2. Now you can do a regular proof with this, right? You can do a two column proof with this, but um, this is just another type. Okay? So um, to do an indirect proof, remember we're going to do three steps. So step one, we're going to say that the given is um, false or that it's opposite. So we're going to say lines P and Q are parallel. Okay? And then you can also write um, assume, that probably better assume, lines P and Q are parallel. My step two, um, I'm going to start off, remember I'm, I'm trying to say that measure of angle one is not congruent to measure of angle two. Now these are alternate interior angles, right? Um, if alternate interior angles are congruent, then we know that um, if they are congruent, then we know that these lines have to be parallel. So, I can say angles 1 and 2 are alternate interior angles if uh, alternate interior or let's say if um, if two lines are cut by a transversal so that alternate interior angles are congruent, then the two lines are parallel. Lines um, However, okay, however, now since we said that angles 1 and 2 are alternate interior angles, and if two lines are cut by transversal so that um, alternate interior angles are congruent, then the two lines have to be parallel, well, doesn't this contradict the given statement? So, however, um, this contradicts the given statement so my step three I'm going to say therefore since um, the assumption right here step uh, step one since the assumption leads to a contradiction 
the assumption again step one must be false and therefore measure of angle one does not equal to measure of angle two so if you were to write your own indirect proof, yours might be a little bit different than mine. Um, all you have to say, all you have to make sure you include is that um, since we're assuming that lines P and Q are parallel, um, angles one and two, since they're remote interior angles, they must be congruent in order for the lines to be parallel, right? If the lines are not parallel, that's fine, then the angles will not be congruent. So if the two lines are cut by a transversal so that alternate interior angles are congruent, then the two lines are parallel. They, they must be parallel. But that contradicts the given statement, which is that they are not parallel. So uh, since this assumption right here, that they're being parallel, it's a contradiction. Um, it contradicts what we know is to be true this theorem, then um, the assumption this is false, okay? So then you have to include that this is false, and then therefore, this is true, okay? So writing, um, so explaining it in a way where it contradicts, and then um, saying, okay, well then therefore, um, since it is a contradiction, um, the statement, the assumption is false. Um, measure of angle one um, is not equal to measure of angle two. Okay. And that's it for this lesson. Um, indirect proofs are a little bit challenging, but again, just all you have to do is um, s just show that this contradicts to the given statement. And once you do that, you can say, um, since it does contradict, um, and it's false, the assumption is false, therefore, this has to be true, okay? Okay, well, um, that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching, educated.com.